Hey guys, it's me, Delicious Delights. Welcome to my channel. Okay, so today is the day where the smelly jar returns. <laughs> I have this jar here. As you can tell, there's some paper in here. On these pieces of paper are just some topics about perfume that I will choose randomly out of here. Hang on one sec. Okay, my phone's being weird. <laughs> okay, so I will choose a topic out of here and just basically talk about it and discuss it and just whatever comes to mind, unscripted, unthought through, and just, you know, I just really like spontaneous thinking and speech. <laughs> so yeah, I have a lot of topics to go through in here. Some of them I maybe I've talked about a little bit in the past, but now it's been a while. My opinions probably have changed on a lot of things. So yeah, if you guys have any suggestions of topics to add in the smelly jar, please let me know in, in the, in the uh, comments and I can add them to the jar. Okay, so let's do this. It's been a while, a very, very, very long while. And today's topic is, ta -da! I can't read backwards. Scenting my hair, hair perfume. Okay, so, hmm, <laughs> I'm a little rusty. So hair perfume, I don't own any like perfumes that are specifically made for hair. I know that Guerlain has some hair perfumes. Um, also Maison Francis Kirkshan also has some hair perfumes. But honestly, I don't see the point of hair perfume like specifically. Well, like I don't know if it's safe for ex to take like a sample. This is Amber Oud and like spray that in my hair. Like if it's good enough to spray on your skin, like if it's safe to spray on your skin, why wouldn't it be safe to spray on your hair? And you like don't have to douse it or anything. You can just basically spray on a comb, uh, or a, a, uh, yeah, just a comb or a brush, and then just brush your hair through um, with the fragrance, and it can be scented that way. Or you can just directly spray on your head. Like I don't see the problem doing that. Maybe it's not safe. Uh, I'm not really sure. But then again, a lot of us use hair products that are safe, you know, like um, conditioner and shampoos. Maybe they have chemicals in them also. Um, we dye our hair. I dye my hair. Well, I need to dye my hair because it's getting white again. But I don't see like the huge difference between a hair perfume and just taking a regular perfume and just spraying your hair through. Like I don't see the difference since um, the hair is also, well, it's not skin, but it's in the same category of like hair, nails, skin, you know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, I don't, I wouldn't go out of my way to get a, a perfume that's specifically made to spray on your hair. I wouldn't do that personally. Like, I don't know the difference. If you guys know the difference between uh, a perfume made for your skin versus a perfume made for your hair please do let me know I mean we also use like mousse and hair gel and and um, shampoo oh it's shampoo uh, hairspray and stuff so there's chemicals in that so <laughs> I don't know like I could be wrong like do not do it if you think it's unsafe to do it then don't but I just think for me I don't see the big deal and do I do it yes I do it quite often actually I just spray like three times around my head or I'll just spray like in the air and then I will just let it fall on my head so that throughout the day I will be getting like whiffs of beautiful fragrance in my hair. So but those were my thoughts on scenting my hair slash hair perfume. I'd love to hear your opinion on this. Do you think that it's worth it to get a perfume just made for your hair or can you just use your own perfumes and just get, use that? and if you know if it's safe or not. <laughs> and yeah, that's all I'm going to say. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it's a little bit rusty, but I will be trying to get used to it again, and um, I will be back with more videos soon. Take care, guys. See ya. Bye.